absolutely love this intro still, even with a delayed flight to May 2021. And I think this was the right decision and this is actually the first topic that we will talk about today. And then we will talk about the new timeline of Virgin Galactic with this brand new news from the conference call as well as from the presentation and with Richard Branson flight, the first passenger flights and so on and so forth. Then we will talk about the stock and then finally we will dive into the stock chart. And if you want to discuss with me personally more about Virgin Galactic and why I'm buying more and, and see when I'm buying, how much I'm buying, then maybe you should consider to join the X10 Masterclass just for today, tomorrow and Sunday. There will be 10% off with 10 space code and after that we go to back to the original price. So the last time to get lifetime access to our Discord chat where we talk 24 hours about investing and I'm sharing all my trades there. And uh, let's dive in. So let's dive directly into the beef. Yes, something very unexpected happened. I mean, the sentence that I directly read and I was like, are they for real? I mean, Spaceship 2, right? As you have seen maybe in my live stream on Twitch, I had this beautiful model here of our Spaceship 2 that is usually going very much up, up to uh, 50,000 feet with the White Knight 2 and then gets released and then goes straight to the Suborbit. Well, this will not happen until May 2021. Now, what is happening? I checked the presentation. I listened to the conference call twice. All right. Now, let me tell you my personal and very honest opinions. It is very disappointing. That's why the stock will lose 15, 20, maybe even 30% of its value. What happened technically was the following. So they had this EMI, which is electromagnetic interference, which is a problem that is very common if you have very many different parts of different kind of items in one product. Okay. Can happen with some machines, with some cameras and so on. So, Usually you can do, you know, exchange different parts or better do isolation on the, all the cables and the, the infrastructure. But what they have experienced and that's why they actually had the issue in the December flight, which was that they had this interference and the ignition motor did the right thing to do, you know, stop the ignition because there was some bad data coming and that's why the test flight failed. So what happened, you know, they changed the computer and did some improvements, but then they did all the pre-test checks and discovered that there's even more interference, right? Because of the new computer, because more insulation, even though those interference were very, very minor and on things like sensors for the temperature or the cabin pressure, you know, something that they know, okay, it's, it's still working, but it could in a very, very low probability make a uh, fail safe again, which means that, you know, they would abort the mission again, which I don't think would be great. All right. So let me summarize it for you. So they had then, the hard decision to make, do we fly with this male functions, you know, and just make the test flight because we scheduled it and want to do it, or we doing it the safe way and fix those problems once for all and fly a little bit later, which is from now on about eight weeks. And I believe honestly, 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 this was the most important decision. I would not love to see the stock after a second aborted test flight on problems that they already, you know, thought of, right? Over the last couple of weeks. So in my personal opinion, they did exactly the right thing. Yes, it's a bummer. Yes, it came unexpected, but definitely the right way. So we have a little bit more time to buy in more cheap. And what all of this means for this stock 
let's dive into it and what also this means for a new timeline let's dive into it but before that let's have a look quickly on today's sponsor of today's Virgin Galactic Fridays. You might have heard about all the stories recently with Wall Street Bets and Robin Hood and the regulations and restrictions on free trade. I mean, if you are just starting with investing or if you are already invested but want to change your broker, then let me tell you something about Capital.com. This is the sponsor of today's video and they have over 3,000 markets that you can invest in. You might not find some securities on your old broker, go to capital.com, download their app on Apple, on Google, on any other app store that is uh, mainly out there. You can find capital.com and not only that, let me tell you what are the advantages of this revolutionary trading platform. Oh, hi. I was just trading on Capital, the app that I was just talking about. Well, let me tell you, there's no hidden fees, okay? There's market leading spreads and you're trading stock CFDs or Bitcoin or other assets that you are want to get into, like for example, Forex. So moreover, they are having a huge, 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 huge focus on privacy and also security. And let me tell you one more thing. When talking about investing, I'm always preaching, get educated first, right? And guess what? On the app of capital.com, you are having huge courses, you are having huge educational content that will make you the start of investing or even make you a knowledge better of investment. And this only on the tips of your fingers on your smartphone. So. With the link below, you can get access to the app and also take up your money, put it into the app and start trading. All right, so timeline wise, it means the following. The second test flight will be in May 2021. We will have a space flight, we will have this marketing, we will have a stock close to 50, 60 dollars in my personal opinion. Then we will have the second test flight, which will be then sometime in the summer, I guess June, maybe mid July, something like that, right? And then shortly after in July, August, let's say August because they said summer, late summer, maybe even mid of September, we will have Richard Branson flights. And then in fall, we will have customer flights okay customer flights with our current spaceship too in fall this means somewhere around september october right with a huge marketing campaign that they promise in the earnings call plus you know and that's interesting they want to have in the same summer test flights of the spaceship three plus they want to have obviously you know, passenger flight with the second spaceship already in early 2022. If this is not good news, long term, even midterm, that's that's not even long term, midterm, then, you know, this is absolutely crazy. And the nice thing about the earnings call, Michael Koglazer was very, very professional. He brought the guy that explained all the technical issues. He explained to analysts about the scaling, you know, that the scaling will be important. They don't have to raise money for now. Uh, they have a very, very big conviction that, you know, just small things to finish and then fly into the summer. So I'm super much convinced, you know, if he would say, you know, we don't know, maybe it's something else comes up and so on. So nothing like this happens. Okay. He's rather thinking, okay, we need to have more spaceships. We need to create more, you know, motherships. We need to have two, three motherships to have multiple flights per spaceport and they are talking already about you know per spaceport their uh, cooperation with the Italian Air Force which apparently will be most probably also the second space port or maybe the third spaceport already so you know all of this news that coming out and I'm not even talking about the Mach 3 airplane and everything so uh, the future is very bright it's uh, the question is do you have the patience, yes or no, let me know in the comments below. 
very turbulent week for all space investors. I know it hurts, right? If we are going from 17, 20 to 60 and then back down to 35. I mean, this is exactly what I said yesterday. I'm thinking this stock will go down even further than 38, 35, maybe 32, maybe 30, maybe 28, maybe 25. I have no idea, but I will buy more. And now you know why from the first categories why I want to buy more. But let's dive first into what happened over the last day before the earnings, which was, you know, the overall market was quite, you know, bad. And that's why we lost about 8%, right? Since the open of the market. And then after hours, 15.63%. And I think this will continue today, depending on the overall market. I can see even Virgin Galactic going down 20%. But uh, when was the last time that you had the stock? that is priced let's say 30 dollars or 35 and most probably into the summer or in the end of the year will be triple or potentially triple that amount well this can happen this may be take two years but eventually when they can execute on what they are saying and i have very much conviction guys with the brand new team there's something happening with michael Coglazer, with the priority on safety and what they did in their decision making i think this is a no-brainer that this was definitely positive on the you know wide range of the whole week since our last virgin galactic fridays you can see here that uh, we lost about 15 percent uh you know on the top levels here are even up to 21 percent so definitely we are now going into a very much interesting area of the stock where we need to decide okay when is the you know bottom but the problem is you never know so here's what i'm doing okay i'm just keep on buying if it's going down i just keep on buying to lower my average and then actually will be super happy when this all will be over and we will laugh and then you know you will say well i wish i would have bought more <laughs> but obviously this is not financial advice so let's dive into the stock chart of virgin galactic so let's look into our favorite stock on friday and as you can see here uh, we are down about 13 uh, percent which is not so bad actually and there's a couple of factors guys okay first of all i want to show you my conviction is very very high in this stock okay and i will just show you i'm putting uh, the money where my mouth is and uh, my discord people know it already and could follow this if they also convince but i bought um, 100 more shares which equal to three thousand six hundred dollars more of uh, virgin galactic directly at the opening at 36.6 and why i did this i think that this is an amazing discount currently you know 13 14 percent i mean when was the last time we saw the stock at this uh, area right at this price and this was back in end of January and since then we had this uh, crazy move and this is exactly what will happen for the next time we will know about the test flight and the test flight will happening and you know things are happening on the way I'm sharing my thoughts always on Instagram and Twitter so follow me there as well this is very important for you guys and as you can see here something technical is uh, very much happening so first of all we are exiting here the bollinger bands which is always a bullish sign if uh, we're going back because always when we're trading in the edges of this bollinger bands here it was for a little, little longer because of the trend here but usually uh, we are going back uh, then in and here we're going back in as well so it doesn't matter uh, which side of the trade you are uh, we are usually bouncing a little bit back and then as a second uh, big thing as you can see here we are currently fighting with the 37 dollars uh, uh, 50 moving average so this is very important for today as soon as we are defending this this is a good good let's say uh, yeah um, resistance however though the bearish side is if we break through that 
and also through the next one, which is somewhere around 34, 33, something, then uh, we can fall up to, you know, maybe 23. So this is to watch now. I think now the, the overall situation on the market relaxes a little bit as well. You know, you see that uh, the, the market, as you can see here from this tickers, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, not everything is down. Uh, so also uh, momentum stocks like Tesla are quite neutral. And I think that uh, we could be in at a turnaround back here. Okay, so this is important to watch. Uh, we broke through the resistance of uh, 43, which was, uh, you know, a kind of resistance, not a big one, a small one here that we hold it. Then another big one would be here at 48. So as soon as we go back up and break through this two resistance, then, you know, the way is back up to be here at 55, 50 levels. Um, and as you can see here, this can uh, happen quite quickly. It's just eight, eight weeks, guys. Okay, eight weeks to have the test flight going on. And on the way, we will have a couple of catalysts uh, on the way. So stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching. Have the best weekend that you ever had.